Hey what's up guys, OSG back again and this time we're going to be looking at the 20 best beat em ups on the Commodore 64. To be honest, great beat em ups on this system are a bit thin on the ground, but I've got 20, but I really think show off that the C64 was capable of pulling off a good beat em up game. So without more delay, let's take a look at the 20 best Commodore 64 beat em ups in order of greatness. Let's kick it off with Metropolis in 20th place. This is a fairly unknown game and it's also one that's really hard. To get the most out of it at first I would advise using cheats so you can do some proper exploration. In 19th position we have Chambers of Shaolin. This is a kind of adventure beat em up and it's one of the best looking games on the list. The sprites are really nice and the game delivers a bit of a unique experience as far as beat em ups go. In 18th place we have Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, the coin op. This was on arcade one of my all time favourite multiplayer beat em ups. This version looks pretty nice for an 8 bit and plays ok too, but it's missing what made that game stand out, the ability to play in multiplayer, which is a real shame. Double Dragon 2 The Revenge is in 17th place. Now anyone that knows me knows that I love Double Dragon on arcade. Unfortunately the C64 version was utter crap. This is the sequel and I have to say that I would have been much happier with this. It delivers good beat em up action with great music. Sixteen position is taken by Ninja Warriors. This was the weirdest arcade cabinet at the time, with a super wide aspect that spanned over three screens. Anyway, this is a pretty good conversion and they even captured the widescreen aspect. Fifteenth place is taken by Barbarian 2, The Dungeons of Drax. This is defo a game I bought for the cover with the lovely Maria Whitaker on. I have to admit I was a little disappointed at first as it was so far removed from the original but after a while I found it to be a good game in its own right. Kendo Warrior is in 14th place. Here we have a new one to me, as I never played it, but it has everything to make a good beat em up as far as music, looks and gameplay goes. Unfortunately it becomes a bit repetitive, but still worth playing if you like the genre. In 13th place we have Ninja, awesome budget game here from Mastertronic. This game was slated at the time, but I just don't think the reviewers give it a chance it deserves. Yeah, it wins no awards for originality, but delivers great beat em up action. Thank you. 
12th position is taken by Kung Fu Master. Proper old school beat em up arcade classic parted brilliantly to the C64. I loved the arcade and this was a welcome addition in my home collection. The controls are great for one button and the whole game is a joy to play. Target Renegade is in 11th place. The music on this game plays a big part in the mid position on this list, because let's face it, the game can be infuriating when you get stuck with no baseball bat. Seeing that, it's still one of my most played games in my collection. In 10th place is Karataka, cutting edge stuff here from Broderbund. The whole game has a Prince of Persia feel and there's a good reason for that, as it was made by Jordan Meshner. While it's not the fastest or the best sounding game, it's one that leaves you with a true feel of satisfaction when you complete it. Ninth position is taken by Sword of Honor, one of the best looking games on the list that was absolutely killed by loading times between screens. Thanks to new tech, we can now play it with reduced times, but it's still noticeable, which is a real shame, but you really have to play this game. The Simpsons takes 8th place. This is the 8-bit part of a super popular 4-player Simpsons arcade game. They really did a good conversion here with some lovely artwork. The characters however are a bit lacking in detail, but the gameplay is all there and the Simpsons theme tune also gets the Sid treatment. In 7th place is Bop and Rumble, biggest sprites ever and they aren't bad looking either. The game is a straightforward beat em up with some unique moves and crazy characters. BOFH Servers Under Siege is in 6th place. This is the most original game on this list as it's a top down arcade beat em up. It's much in the Gauntlet meets Alien Breed style with hand to hand combat as well as guns. It's also got one of the most unique control systems I've ever experienced which took time to get used to but worth the time because the game is awesome. Fifth position is taken by Hammerfist. This is an awesome game that delivers in so many areas. Looks and gameplay wise it's right up there with the best on the C64 and the music is brilliant too. I love the different strengths of each character and how you have to interchange to achieve goals. Ninja Spirit is in 4th place. This is a rock hard port of an equally hard arcade game. Many people will have given up on this game pretty early because of the difficulty, but I say stick with it because it's an awesome super fast game that gets better with practice. In 
third place we have Demon's Kiss. This is a brilliant, relatively unknown game. It has great graphics, sound and music. The gameplay is also class which makes this a must play for a C64 fan. Second place is taken by Shinobi. Some games on this list maybe people wouldn't call beat em ups, but they all fall into the hand to hand combat bracket, and this one is one of the best known games ever. The C64 port outdid the Amiga with some super smooth gameplay and brilliant graphics. And now in first place is Bruce Lee. Again this is a multi-genre so it also appeared in the 20 best platform games video but it's still a beat em up at heart. The game is loved the world over by C64 fans and it's a real joy to be able to pick up and play. I myself do play this as a beat em up while I know others avoid the enemies. Okay that's it for this video, it's been a bit difficult sorting these into the beat em up genre but I think I've just about pulled it off. The 16 bit systems will be much more clear cut. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Till next time this is OSG, signing out.